Are you taking creatine supplements? And is it causing your hair loss? So you're saying people are trading off their mane for muscles? Mane for muscles, yes. Right? Again, that's the question. Okay, well let's answer that. Right, so this is a very, very common question. Mm -hmm. Common concern, particularly against, with, for younger men. And we're gonna dive into a little bit of the research there and hang around to the end to get the answer. So, okay, creatine. What's the deal with creatine? We've made a video about this before. People take out. creatine supplements to enhance their workouts, build right. muscle, stop yep. losing muscle. Right, so yeah, good evidence to show that this will increase your weight, increase your, the weight that you can push in the gym, improve your recovery rates, and there's some cognitive benefits now that are coming to light from some of the further studies for older people. Right, not just for young people, can also take it uh, later in life to help stop muscle loss. Right, and the way this is taken is typically five grams a day. Some protocols have a loading dose for one or even up to seven days to bump your creatine right up and then maintain it later on. Okay. Okay, so let's talk about hair loss. So male pattern baldness is a very common thing. They see up to one in two people or men suffer this in their lifetime. Two and two, they're, if you're they're, taking this small sample size. There you go. Studies have shown, twin studies particularly, that about 80 or 81% of male pattern bonus is genetic. Okay. Typically, people like to blame the mom side, but it actually is both. So it's both on the father's side and the mom's side. The genes that you receive lead to this problem. Now, what male pattern baldness is, mm -hmm. go ahead, you're gonna say something. I was gonna say, there's a lot of different types of baldness. 100%. Don't ask Will Smith about it. No. But there are many different types. We're just talking about that male pattern. You have to go there? Well, I'm just saying. Is that too old a reference? <laughs> so with male pattern baldness, though, what happens is our, our hair follicles, after doing some research, grow for a period of two to six Wait, years. Wait, hair follicles do research? Yeah, hair follicles, no, hair follicles grow for two to six years after doing some research. After you've done some research. Yes, the hair follicles aren't doing research. So they grow for two yeah, to six years. Were. And what happens to people that have male pattern baldness, these follicles are susceptible to falling out. Mm -hmm. So you have, first of all, you have to have the genes that make your follicle susceptible. It's in a very specific pattern. What causes the follicle to fall out prematurely is something called DHT, which is... Testosterone, baby. It is. So it starts from testosterone and then an enzyme called 5-alpha reductase converts this to DHT. And there's a host of reasons why it gets converted at higher rates in certain people. And one group of people that would have this are people that have high testosterone. So people that are taking exogenous testosterone, people that are taking anabolic steroids, and people that exercise a lot can have elevated levels of DHT. Then you're asking yourself, well, is everybody at the gym losing their hair? No, because they don't have susceptible follicles. All right, so then the idea, the notion that creatine, however, does increase your testosterone level and can lead to hair loss. This is one of the theories. That's one of the theories. Right. Oh, and the literature on this topic is sparse. Yes. Okay, there hasn't been much research specifically trying to answer this question. Right. However, there was a paper yep. that we'll got this. Link. Yeah, we'll provide a link. There was a paper that got this notion into the public eye. Right. And that article was way back in 2009, 15 yep. years ago. Yeah, so some South African rugby player, some young men that were taking creatine, so they actually loaded them 25 grams a day for seven days and then five grams a day for the next 14 days. And then they measured a bunch of different things, mm -hmm. testosterone, DHT, and then reports of hair loss. So what did they find? Well, they found that the, the, that subgroup, which was not randomized right. in a very small sample size, yes. did report hair loss. Right. And one of the groups, or the group that had more hair loss, did have um, lower DHT to start, but when they compared total testosterone, testosterone ratio, these were all within the normal limits. Within clinically normal limits, right? Yes, and what's more important is that this is a study that's never ever been reproduced. No, it's never been reproduced. I don't know if anyone's actually tried to reproduce it. Well, but... there have been 12 other studies that have looked at kind of hair loss with respect to creatine and testosterone levels, and none of them have shown that creatine very like specifically or significantly elevates testosterone on a prolonged basis. So if you're wondering and you're thinking, should I start taking creatine? I don't want to because I don't want to lose my hair. There is no evidence in the literature that strongly supports that notion. Agreed. And I think it's more about your genetics and your susceptibility. So coincidentally, you may start taking creatine and then notice your hair is coming out. But it's probably not related to the creatine. It's more related to your parents. 
could be coincidental. Right, and consider other things. So consider not taking testosterone and not taking anabolic steroids if you're already doing that. And unfortunately, this is part of the group that can be at the gym. Right. Um, and certainly we're not minimizing male pattern bollocks. This is a debilitating thing for a lot of people. Mm -hmm. um, but at least now you know that the data does not support the claim that creatine causes hair well, loss. That's why I went into surgery, so I could wear a hat all day. That's right. I thought you were gonna try to cure, like maybe transplant surgery. No, that's another video. We but actually, we actually had a viewer <laughs> send us a message saying, hey, do you guys want to come to Turkey? And we will do a hair transplant for you. Yeah. We didn't, my, go, we didn't go. Oh, I bought us tickets for next week. Sorry. See if I can get my money back. <laughs> but if you, like me, thought this is what happened to Mr. Clean, right. overdid it with the creatine, got the muscles, lost the hair, apparently not. There you go. Now you know. If you like this video, please like it. Subscribe to our channel. Leave a comment about your experience with hair loss, creatine, or the two related to this. And remember, you are in charge of your own health, even though if you're not in charge of your own hair. See you next time.